Hello, Internet. This is Bone Chronos coming to you live from the quote unquote weapons optimization. The, today, we're going to be taking a look at the ACR 6.8 in its entirety. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give the base stats as usual since you guys just love your stats. This weapon is unlocked fairly late in the game at level 50, uh, but it does make up for it in the fact that it's one of the better assault rifles in the game. It does fire full, it does have fully automatic firing capabilities and a 30 round ammo capacity, which is on par with all the other assault rifles in this game. Now, what is it on par is uh, it's its rate of fire at about 705 rounds per minute. It's a little bit uh, under, uh, below average compared to most other assault rifles that Modern Warfare 3 has. It does make up for it in its higher than average damage. Um, it does do for about 45 up close, 30 at a distance. So what this means is you're going to be killing in three shots right next to you about four when the enemy is a little bit more further away. Now the reload time is fairly high at about three and a quarter seconds. Uh, go ahead and cut that in half if you're just going to be adding uh, to your current ammo clip. Uh, and its aim down sights is fairly standard for assault rifles at about 0.3 seconds. Now. The biggest draw of this weapon, in my opinion, is that it has virtually zero recoil. Not quite Modern Warfare 2 ACR, but still very high nonetheless. The iron sights are a bit obtrusive, in my opinion. It, they, uh, they do close in on the opponent fairly easily and fairly well, but still, um, having the, the iron sights take up so much of the screen was really irksome, in my opinion. So, uh, what I found myself using this weapon overall, um, uh, and had the most success with, was just a frontline assault rifle kind of deal. Um, I ended up just bypassing kick altogether and used focus instead with a red dot sight attachment. It, it helps me zero in on the opponents that are quite uh, at a distance but still has it open up. Uh, it has the sights kind of nice and wide and unobtrusive that, the way that I like it. Now for the first perk I ended up using uh, sleight of hand for a second was quick draw and for the third was stalker. So overall fairly average um, fairly straightforward weapon to use and not too complicated but still one that I found myself using with some success. Now another one that I did actually enjoy using was um, one that actually is completely different from the playstyle that you would want to use in my first build and that would be using uh, a two times attachment with thermal and a silencer. Uh, with this you're just going to be slowing yourself way down and just picking a spot and just um, claiming it as your own. You're pretty much going to be sniping with this uh, with this weapon as if you were just using any kind of sniper in this game. Now for my perks I ended up using scavenger. Uh, for my second I ended up using hardline and for the third I ended up using dead silence. Now a little bit more on that in a second. Now uh, you might ask yourself why not just use a thermal with kick. Um, same rules apply as for the first uh, for the first build. This gun has virtually zero recoil so you're not really going to need kick. Um, and focus, you're not really going to be shot that much at a distance. This is more of a stealthy kind of build. So you really want to be able to just uh, see your opponent before they see you and that's what thermal optics really helps you do. Um, even if you do get shot, the recoil is so low that you can still put in those four or five bullets that you need to take down an opponent. Now, the reason I uh, coupled it with a silencer was it just keeps yourself off the minimap, and a silencer is really great with this weapon. It kind of, uh, you have to be fairly close to it to pinpoint where your enemy is uh, or where you're firing from. So um, that's why I coupled a thermal with a silencer, and it, it just works really well with this weapon. For my first uh, perk, I ended up using Scavenger, obviously, like I said before, and the reason being is not just because not just because you're going to be picking up the ammo packs necessarily, but because you need that starting ammo. You're not going to be running around, you're not going to be able to uh, have the opportunity to pick up any weapons or ammo packs so that starting ammunition is really just it really keeps you going for uh, quite some time I, mean, I think I ended up on a 14 15 kill streak in this particular video uh, while really not needing those ammo packs that I do happen to pick up for my second perk I ended up using hardline you can use um, assassin uh, but really you're not gonna be um, rushing too too much deep into enemy territory and you're not and the, the maps aren't that big to keep you off the radar um, as it were so I ended up just using hardline to be able to pick up those uh, kill streaks that much sooner but you can definitely use assassin it's all up to you in its entirety for the third perk I ended up using uh, dead silence just because of the fact that in case an enemy gets into your uh, uh, <clears throat> into your uncomfortable zone, you will be able to just um, kind of fall back a little bit and just use dead silence to be able to hear your enemy uh, that much easier while you're moving around in the area. You can use sit rep, but again, you're not going to be going too deep into your into enemy territory or into any kind of claymores or bouncing betties, really. So um, that was it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, tr definitely try out these classes, um, especially the second one. It's quite fun and quite interesting to use. Um, other than that, uh, I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, if you have any comments or anything like that that I could use to um, make these videos uh, more enjoyable or better for you, leave them down below along with any kind of weapon you want me to do next. If there's a particular weapon that gets uh, a particular number of thumbs up, I'll go ahead and do that one. If not, I'll just pick them at my leisure. Um, so with that, I'm out of here. Uh, later, guys. Destroyed your IMS. 